You mean people look at what about now? What about now? Yeah, tell us the truth.
All right, can you hear us? Hello, sorry for the delay, but we're here. <laughs> we just thought we'd play around with the technicalities. Um, we've got Vara here today, who's a tech expert, so we thought we'd throw him some <laughs> stymie. Anyway, if you lose us at any time, just put it in the chat and we'll um, try to rectify the situation. But in the face of all obstacles, we're going to meditate. Um, and what we really wanted to do today was go deeper into the left side. Because I feel we've just skinned the surface. Oh, sorry. You mean go deeper We've not stopped that. sharing. Sorry. Now we really are here. Now you understand what I was talking about. I think Lynn, you Technicalities. said. Lynn, you said we want to go deeper into the left side. Yes. <laughs> I thought you meant go deeper into knowledge of the website, of the left side. Sorry. Usually, when we say go, we generally don't want to go deeper into the left side. <laughs> generally, we don't actually physically wish to. Yeah. No. We'd like to go deep Sorry, into the central so channel. We're so with the whole internet thing that uh, we're a bit like uh, hyperactive. All right, let's calm down. Uh, should uh, all right. So we thought we'll talk about the left side a bit more. Then. Yeah, yeah. What have you got in? Um, well, just for those who are newly with us, just bear with us. Um, we've overcome many things tonight, technically. <laughs> now we'll overcome physically <laughs> as well. Um, so the idea is that we would like to meditate, but it's Sahaja Yoga meditation. And that's a different thing. So it's not a mental exercise. And it's also, if you've only been one or two times previously, it's not just, a, oh, you've got your realisation and then just carry on as normal and, and everything's fine and dandy. It's that little crack or that little bit of sunshine comes through the clouds and you've got to get that every day and you want more blue sky to show. So... It's not just a once-off exercise, basically. I'm trying to say. We're using alternative speakers, so hopefully everyone can hear. And we do have um, someone alerted to see your every message in case you're not hearing us or seeing us. So do use the chat. If you're on, on um, YouTube, apologies, but we're here for you. Um, it's all a vibrational thing. Um, and let's just talk about how we normally operate before we get that little peek through the clouds. Yeah. So I, th I thought like we, like we discussed, we could talk a little bit about left side. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got, we got left side and the right side and the central channel. So the idea is to stay in the central channel. But uh, I was giving this car analogy. Oh, yeah. That's a so good analogy. So when you're driving on the... However, you have this, what are they called? When you go on them, they make it tuk 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 noise, the white things. When you're driving. Oh, you're, when you're going off, off the, the road, you've got yep. the, the, yes. So you're falling asleep and you go there. Yeah, and you get that a warning. That makes a noise. Yeah. Uh, and then on the right side, if you're really trying to aggressively overtake someone, yeah, you might end up on the road divider. Yeah. So it's pretty much similar on how our service system works. So if you don't, look after your left side, you end up in falling into it. And falling into left side is more uh, undesirable than, than falling into the right side. And that's because um, left has this aspect of subconscious in it. Right? So it, it could be something like, uh, let's say as a kid, you got smacked by a redneck. Some redneck smashed, smacked you. It happens many times, you know, these all, all these isms start. And then for the rest of your life, slowly, and then you watch a news article somewhere that uh, a redneck burnt a house down. He's not talking about you, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. And then, and then that's it. You make this conclusion that all rednecks are bad. Uh, yeah, they'll all come and smack you. That's it. So that is the kind of thing that the left does to us, I feel. So that's your conditioning that you've stored up in your left side Correct. and not seeing that it's there, but keep reacting whenever you see a redneck. So this is how your, your biases start. Um, and you can easily extrapolate that to thinking about uh, racism. Something mm -hmm. happens somewhere, you read news, you, you, you sort of uh, filter the news to, to corroborate your already existing biases. 
and then it all starts to end up being a big mess. Uh, hey, look at America. Kind of thing. So that's where the those conditionings are in the subconscious. Uh, they are in the subconscious. Um, and uh, Shimadhi talks about clearing the left side is a bit more hard work than right, and probably more in, in undesirable. And that's because. Um, it, it sort of left affects us in more ways than right. I think right is more visible. Like, yeah. you know, if you're annoyed, if you're angry, if you're driving like a mad person, then you can easily say that the right side is off. But the left creeps on you. Yeah, the left hides. Left hides. And then... So know, it makes like, you feel good and it makes you feel bad. Yeah. And there was... Uh, and it's those, because of what you think. It, it, it Sometimes it's not even... You don't even know you're thinking, right? You're just in it. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. And then you're already living that sort of um, things like this where you miss a bus. You woke up late in the morning, you miss a bus. You think, and then you start extrapolating that the whole universe is against you. Yeah, because why did I miss that bus? Because somebody else spoke to me late in the night. Yeah. So it's their fault. Or the whole world <laughs> is against you. Everything. Yeah. It's everybody that fault except yourself. So that's usually the left thing I feel. Mm. Uh, I mean, I go through those moments myself. Um, and obviously, you uh, you really don't have control. Like once, some people have that tendency themselves, going to the left, I feel. So your solution is to meditate. Because when you, when you meditate, the, the Kundalini helps. First, the Kundalini tells you that you're in the left. Because when you're meditating, your left side is not, not that not that well off so your vibrations are not flowing then you know that you have a left issue but it can also be you can only feel on the left and you're not feeling the right at all that's different what does that mean well that means you're in the right because you can't feel the right anymore so you can only feel the left ah. so then you have to take some left over to the right yeah okay well, that seems to work taking that, that, the left that, to the right that, that evens uh, it out what is it called that nuance is also there yeah um but, so what we're trying to say is that only when you meditate and your kundalini going up, you have a chance of knowing whether you're left or right. Your left is catching or right is catching, right? Yeah. And it's not just doing meditation, it's being in meditation. Yeah. So even that's nuanced. You yeah. know, you can sit for meditation, but do you meditate? If you haven't had the meditation, nothing's happening. But you keep trying, trying again, and you get that little gap. That's an interesting point, Lynn, because when, when people come for meditation, generally we say, 10 minutes you meditate. You're not saying do meditation for 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, do the exercise for 10 minutes. It's actually meditate for 10 minutes. So you might be sitting there for 30 minutes and you only end up meditating for 10. Yeah, that is true. That's a, that's a good point. So should we clear our uh, left or are there any new people today? Can you, or maybe for YouTubers we do. Yeah, let's do it like um, at least uh, in case you're on uh, YouTube watching, we'll go through our usual um, getting the real self-realization happening. Um, that always opens the gap a bit more for those of us who've done it already plenty of times. Yeah, do you want to do, do it again? Uh, do you want to do it or shall I? You can do it. Yeah. Okay, all right. So the idea is that it's our attention and our desire that gets that realisation happening. And we'll use our hands so that we're not thinking too much. And we'll just say various affirmations and put our hands at the level of the different chakras, which we'll talk more about again later. So let's just take our attention inside for a few minutes. Few deep breaths. Now, if you find too many thoughts are coming, keep your eyes open. You can look towards the flame, the photograph of Sri Mataji there. Otherwise, you can keep your eyes closed if you're able to focus more. So this is just waiting to happen with our desire and our asking for it to happen. So it's to be in meditation, which starts with our self-realization. 
So let's just start from our heart. So our right hand is on our heart on the left hand side. And we'll start with a fundamental question we'll ask ourselves, which is who am I and why am I here? Why am I on this earth? What is my purpose in being alive? So this is a question we might have had quite a lot in our life, but we forget about it when we get busy with other things. So let's just take ourselves back to that question. Who am I and why am I here? Then we'll just go down to the hip, which is adjacent to where our evolutionary energy resides in a bone called the sacrum bone. And just asking for that information about ourselves, about who we are, which we'll do by asking inside ourselves, please give me the pure knowledge. Please give me that information about myself. The pure knowledge. Please give me the pure knowledge. We've got this mothering energy. It's, it's called Kundalini in the Sanskrit word. And she awakens now on this question to give us that knowledge. With this knowledge, we can go up to just the upper part of our stomach, just above where the belly button would be and uh, at the bottom of the ribs. So this is the area of our mastery of ourselves so we can affirm that I am my own master and we'll create that relationship with our mothering kundalini energy we'll call her mother mother kundalini I am my own master that's what she's giving us the mastery of ourselves We'll go back up to the heart. And the answer to that question, who am I? Mother, I am the pure spirit. So that's the spark of divine that's in all of us. So it's not outside, but it's inside. I am the pure spirit. Mother, I am the pure spirit. And this is where that connection of who am I, what am I, and the spirit is felt, and it's felt with love and with joy. It's something more than just the, the person we love. It's the love of the whole. Now, as Kundalini travels up through the central channel, we want to clear the area. So we'll go up to the neck where the neck and the shoulder join. This area here gets constricted if we feel guilty about things. So not to judge ourselves, but just forgive and not feel guilty. So let's just clear the guilt first by saying, I'm not guilty. Mother, I'm not guilty. And that makes a bigger space for her to travel through. She's going to connect us and, and re-establish our self-realization. So we want that Kundalini energy plus the light of our spirit to travel through this area. So just saying again, Mother, I'm not guilty. And 
The other thing we have to do is to forgive everyone. So let's just drop our forehead into the palm of our hand. We can hold it with our fingers in our palm on either side at the temples, squeezing it quite firmly. And we need to forgive everyone at everything. Mother Kundalini, I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. Now let's go up to that seventh chakra, the Sahasrara chakra, the chakra of the thousand petal lotus. So we're going to press down the middle of our palm onto the middle of the top of our head, that fontanelle area, and just rotating it, giving it a little massage quite firmly. And we can ask Mother, Mother Kundalini, please give me my self realization. Please strengthen my self-realization. Whichever of those works for you. Please give me my self-realization. So that we can connect our own spirit with the divine all around that ocean, you're going to enter that ocean of divine divinity. And then just raising your hand up, you might feel that flow, especially if you've done this quite a few times now. It could be up quite high, it could be up close. Just a gentle flow of vibrations. This could be slightly warm. As you're clearing out any obstacles, and then it should be cool after some time. Bring that hand down. We can feel it with the other hand, just in case our left view is feeling more than our right. And just keeping our attention up there where our hand was. Keep the two hands in our lap. We're just concentrating on our breath. Try to be in that moment, up, up above our brain. Just letting all the thoughts go, not this thought. And just slowly opening your eyes. We'll um, carry on with that meditative state in a minute. We might um, do some balancing. Just to try and make all play the speech first. We've got a short exit where Shramanji is talking a bit more about the left side. A few other things. Um, so we'll try to get that on for you and then we'll carry on with our meditation afterwards. Good habits and bad habits. If habits inhibit or obstruct your ascent, they also can help to stabilize you. The 
conditioning comes to you from the matter with which we are dealing every day. When a human being sees a matter, he addresses it and he wants to use that matter for his own purpose. He changes the forms of the matter for his own purpose. He starts getting used to matter as comfort or as a help or a guide in life. The more you start depending on matter, the more your spontaneity is finished because you are dealing with the dead. Matter, when it is dead, then only we deal with it. When it is living, we are not so much bothered about it. So the deadness of that matter settles within us when we start using that matter for our purpose. But how are we to otherwise it exist? Is the question people can ask if God has given us these material things and this matter to be used. Are we not supposed to use them? And are we not supposed to enjoy them? But we don't enjoy really. Before realization, you cannot enjoy any matter. You can only form a habit and may become a slave of that matter. Before realization. It's a principle of fundamental principle of economics that wants in general are never satiable. Means today you want to buy something like a carpet, all right, bought it. So now that carpet becomes a headache because it's your possession, you have to look after it. You have to insure it, you have to worry about it that it doesn't get spoiled, first of all. And secondly, you really get into another mood of buying something else. Now you have bought the carpet, finished. Then you have to have something else, then you have to have something else, then you have to have something else. So it does not satiate you, it does not give you the joy. Matter can never give you joy. It's the spirit that gives you joy. And when the ascent takes place, then you become the spirit then matter takes another value system within ourselves. The value system of matter is very different. As I'm sure Jason must have told you, that when you get your realization, then you start feeling the cool breeze in the hand. In relationship to matter, it's very helpful to be realized so. because Immediately you know what is good for you and what is bad. For example, you eat something that's not good for you. Immediately you lose your vibrations or you become hot. Even looking at it may happen. You want to sit on a chair on which somebody who is a very wrong type of a person has sat. Immediately you feel, oh, something wrong with this place. With your vibrations which is a definite thing and absolute thing. And this conditioning can only be over, these habits can be overcome only if you become the spirit, because spirit is always dominated by the matter. And the spirit has to overcome that domination of the matter. Actually, spirit cannot be dominated by it. But what I mean is that it is covered, like the sun can be covered with clouds. In the same way, all our domination, or we can say all our, uh, all our enslavement of the matter makes us dominate our spirit in the sense that we cover it.
say it again. By taking it off. So with our right hand, let's raise the kundalini from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head. Now let's do that a few times. So our attention settles on top of the head. In our crown chakra of the Sahasrara. Let's put our right hand on our heart. And let's acknowledge our spirit. And say, I am the spirit. Not this body, not this mind. But I am the spirit. Drop our right hand towards Mother Earth. The only pure desire is to be one with our spirit. Here we ask, Mother, please remove all the impure desires from my left channel. Mother, please let all my conditionings and catches fall off from my left channel. Your attention has wandered, try and bring it back to the top of the head. For that, you can use your hand, raise your kundalini, touch the top of the head. Only if you need to. Mother, please let all the negative energy in my left channel go. Let's put our right hand on the lap. We lift our left hand towards the sky with the fingertips pointing the roof.
Mother, please remove all the impure action in my right channel. Let's put our left hand on the rib cage on the right side. Fill our chest and just above the left side of the stomach. So here is our liver and, and all the excessive thinking and heat comes from the liver. So here we say, Mother, please let the coolness of the Himalayas and the moon come into my liver. Mother, by your grace, please let my liver cool down. Put our left hand back on the lap. Raise our kundalini from the bottom of the spine to the top using our right hand. Let us just try and stay in the center channel. Mother, please let the space in the center expand. Mother, please take me into thoughtlessness. I'll stay quiet for a few minutes. In between, if you feel you're getting thoughts, you just say, I let go of this thought. And you keep repeating until the thought goes away. The idea is to be on top of the Sahasrara Chakra. Mother, please make me thoughtless.
Slowly open our eyes. We um, where's our Kundalini and put on the bandhan? Yep. So we start on finish off our meditation using uh, by raising our Kundalini. So we take our left hand up while we make circles around it using the right hand. Do it three times. Second time, two knots on top of that. Yeah. So, so if, uh, if you're on Zoom and you have any questions or feedback you want to give, feel free. Otherwise, we have a, a concert we can leave you with to meditate further. Um, and uh, hope you can meditate during the week and see you again next week. So feel free to use the chat for questions. It becomes the concert, hopefully. Over there. Just a bit here. Bring it down a bit.
Thanks for joining everyone. Uh, we'll call it a night and see you next time. Good night. Happy meditating. Yeah. <clears throat>